नमस्कार द साइक्लोनिक स्टर्म काउथे हैज इंटेंसिफाइड रैपिडली ड्यूरिंग पास्ट 24 आवर्स एंड इट बिकेम ए वेरी सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टर्म टुडे मॉर्निंग इन द आफ्टरनून ऑफ टुडे इट इज सेंटर्ड अबाउट 150 किलोमीटर्स नॉर्थ वेस्ट नॉर्थ वेस्ट ऑफ गोवा एज ए वेरी सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टर्म विद अ विंड स्पीड ऑफ अबाउट 135-145 km per hour gusting to 160 km per hour you can just find out how the cyclone is moving as for the satellite image at the top and as for the Dr. Radar image from Goa you can find out that this is the eye or center of the cyclone it is circular eye and it is surrounded by the spiral bands and the wall clouds and from this picture you can find out that there is dense convective clouds along the coast of um, uh, South Konkan and Goa. As a result, there is very heavy rainfall activity over this region today. From this diagram, you can find that this particular cyclone has moved uh, nearly northward so far. And from noon time of today, it has started moving north northwestwards, and we are expecting that it will move, as shown in the red color at the top diagram, it will move towards north northwest and cross Gujarat coast between Porbandar and Goa with a wind speed of about 155 to 165 km per hour, 185 km per hour over this uh, area. And um, it will have its impact over the central Arabian Sea and uh, northeast Arabian Sea in terms of stronger wind and hence the very disturbed sea conditions. The wind speed across uh, an element of Konkan and Goa is about 70 to 90 km per hour and goes to 100 km per hour. And the impact over Lakshadweep, Kerala and Karnataka has reduced as the system has moved north, northwest towards. If you just um, look at specifically the impact of this particular cyclone during the coming time, we will have the maximum in terms of the heavy rainfall, winds and the storm surges over Gujarat. And thereafter, as it is moving very close to the coast, it will have the impact in terms of heavy to heavy rainfall over the Konkan region and Goa for today. And tomorrow, it will have only Konkan region, especially the North Konkan. The rainfall activity will start over South Gujarat, especially the districts of Junagar, Gir Somnath, Amreli, Bhavnagar, Rajkot, Surendranagar. Ahmedabad, Anand, where you can have the heavy to very heavy rainfall activity and isolated extremely heavy rainfall activity that means amount of rainfall exceeding 20 centimeters in 24 hours. If I compare the rainfall activity of today and 1718, the 1718 these two days there will be very intense rainfall activity over these coastal districts as shown in orange and red color here. And this rainfall activity can lead to the low level inundation in the low lying areas. At the same time, if you move to see at uh, the winds, you will find that the maximum wind will be experienced over Bhavnagar, Amreli, Girna, Girsoma, and Junagar districts, followed by Botra, Ahmedabad, Anand, Baruj, Surat, Navsari and Balsar. As the system moves in north northwest directions, the right hand side of the track will have the maximum wind speed and hence you will have the maximum wind speed especially over this Amreli, Bhavnagar and Gir Somanal region. But as the system is very close to the coast, you can have the higher wind speed up to 70 to 90, goes into 100 or 110 per hour, the south Gujarat coast and districts also. So if you just look at the storm surge, which is the, considered as the killer of the cyclone because of its uh, saline nature of the water, it shows from the inquest model that we can expect about 3 meters above the astronomical tide storm surge during the landfall of the cyclone. And this storm surge will be maximum over this conical shape of Gulf of Combat. So we can expect the maximum structures only to the right of the track and as you go away here, 
at the point where wind becomes maximum, the storm surge becomes maximum. But at the same time, the geometrical shape of the coastline and also the elevation of the place, topography and bathymetry, etc., play a dominant role, determining the maximum expected storm surge over this Gulf of Combat and area in coastal districts. So as a result of this multi-hazard scenario due to the heavy to very heavy rainfall, gale winds and the storm surges, apart from astronomical tide, we can expect the large scale damage over the coastal districts of South Gujarat and there can be the large scale damage on the thatcher houses and um, asbestos houses and tin houses. There can be the potential threat from the flying objects just like the projectiles. The old Fakka houses also can be affected by such a high strain. There can be bending and offloading of power and communication lines. There can be major damage to Kacha and Fakka roads because of this um, storm surge and the heavy to extremely heavy rainfall activity. And you can expect also widespread damage to salt fence, which is uh, available in this area, and the standing crops. There can be offloading of big trees and bushy trees also. The sea condition is phenomenal over East Central Arabian Sea and from tomorrow onwards Northeast Arabian Sea also will be phenomenal. Uh, when I say phenomenal, the significant wave height of the sea is about 14 meter and above. So therefore this sea condition is completely unsafe for the shipping operations and fishing operations. So based on this, we have, um, we have uh, danger over the sea area because of the cyclone storm. Now, apart from those targeted districts, uh, in the remaining districts of the South Gujarat, like um, uh, Dwarka, Kutch, Jamnagar, Rajkot, Morbi, Balsad, Surat, Maldora, Marus, Napsari, Anand, Ahmedabad districts, you can also have the major damage to the thatched houses and hearts, rooftops, may blow off, and on attached metal seats may fly. You can also have the major damage to power and communication lines and that can be breaking of tree branches, uprooting of large avenue trees also in these areas. And you can have also damage to the coastal crops and standing crops and damage to the salt pans. But however, if you just compare the area where the cyclone is crossing, just like uh, Bhavnagar and um, um, Amreli and um, Diu and adjoining areas where wind will be maximum, the large scale damage also will be the maximum in those particular districts close to right of the track. So considering all this devastation which can be expected in association with this tropical cyclone, we have advised to mobilize the evacuation from vulnerable areas. The people should move to the safer places. There should be total suspension of fishing operation and shipping operation over East Central Arabian Sea and Northeast Arabian Sea till 18th of May. There should be judicious regulation of rail and road traffic and also air traffic. The airport operations also should be regulated. People should stay in uh, safe places and indoors in the affected areas. The movement of motorboats and small ships in this area is completely unsafe and hence we advise to completely suspend this movement during this particular period. After the 18th, the situation will improve. However, the interior areas of Gujarat will have rainfall activity on 19th. Uh, in association with these dissipating systems and also the southern part of Rajasthan will have heavy to very heavy rainfall and wind speed of 40 to 50 km per hour on 19th of May. So thank you very much.